welcome to another video from me today i'll be teaching you on how you can scan any document all right so this is what you need you need an adapter all right you also need usb interface cable okay you need a scanner this scanner is hp scanjet g2710 so you need a scanner and you also need a laptop all right the last thing which is very important is you need a power source all right now so this is what you do fix the adapter Now make sure that you get the appropriate adapter for the scanner. It's very important. All right, so you connect the adapter to the power source, and then you connect the other end to the scanner. So this is where you need to input it. Now the next thing you consider is connecting the connecting the usb interface cable to the laptop and then the other one to the scanner all right so the other part is the usb so you fix it to a usb port and then the other end to the scanner so this is where you need to input it So when you are done, this is the power. Now if everything is okay, you hear that sound coming from the scanner, indicating that everything is now set up. All right. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to scan this document. So this is, one, this is what you do. Open the scanner and then position the document on the scanner now this is this indication shows that you need to input your document close to this side all right then you close it now you are going to scan using your computer so this is what you need to do you come to the st startup okay then you s make a search for hp um scan and then fast and scan okay now once it appears have a click on it so this is it this is windows fax and scan so make a search for it now the first thing you need to consider is that if you make a search you have not seen it it means that you have not made any installation for the this scanner you've not made any installation for this scanner so what you do is that you go to your web browser and then you make a search for hp scanjet g2710 and then you install the app on it all right now with this i have done my installation so what i need to do is to make a search once it comes then have a click all right it will come like this now with this we have new scan new fax forward as fast forward as email and then save us all right so these things are very important all right so we have you go to new scan then once it comes like this you select the settings how you all right so with the color format you can select okay i want to make it colored so I i'm going to select color if you want it 
black and white you select the black and white all right okay now another thing that you consider is the file type we have the jpg we have the png etc select the one that you want all right now you have brightness and then we have contrast all right so if you need to increase it do so now the last thing that i'll teach you is the preview all right so you can preview how the scan will be all right then after that you can also scan so you click on scan and then the document will start scanning so as you can see there's scanning going on all right so once it has finished scanning you have your scan document on your computer just like this all right and then you can also save it as well with a name that you want all right so i'll come to this is the last picture i've scanned so i'll just click on it and then rename all right so so this is how to scan any document if you have not subscribed to my channel do so now because i upload educative videos every single week turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload new videos like and share ciao see you in the next video